Welcome back to another episode of Sound Pals Go to the Movies. Today I will be reviewing the movie Blackberry. So just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. The story of the rise and demise of the world's first smartphone. So let's begin with my first pro. We all know that the Blackberry was a smartphone for business people and then it just faded away, but we didn't know the small details behind the main story. So this movie came in and showed us or told us what happened behind the scenes. I mean, since we already have all these movies about how things started from all all the way back to Jobs with Ashton Kutcher to the last recent movie Air with Ben Affleck, it seems that these movies are sort of like a cliff notes for people who rather watch a movie than do the research. And by all means, count me in. I'd rather eat popcorn and watch a movie than go to Wikipedia and do all the research myself and sift through all the articles and so on. I just want a one-stop information download and that is what this movie gives us. Next pro, we have the cast, which includes Jay Baruchel playing Mike Azaridis. Then we have Matt Johnson playing Doug and also he's the director of the film and then we have Glenn Howerton playing Jim Basili. I know him best from Always Sunny in Philadelphia and next we have the big reason I went to see this movie which was because of Sung Won Cho or as most of his YouTube followers know him as Pro CD who played Richie in the movie. When I was picking through movies to review for this week and I saw the list of cast members I had to do a double take and I said okay this is the movie for me. I gotta say that I needed more of Pro CD in the movie or his character even though his lines were not written as just Jokes, the way he delivered them made me giggle when he said them out loud and with his face expression that made the scene for me. So yeah, the cast of the three main characters which the story revolves around and then we have Pro CD which is mostly the reason I went to go see this movie. They did a good job, especially Pro CD with his limited lines. Next point, the story, how it tells the story that we are more too familiar with nowadays of smart guys meeting a business partner that only cares about himself and not about the little guys and his method to break up true friendship along the way. But this movie had more than just that. Since the beginning of the film, it stated that this is a fictional work and basically had a few things that stretched the truth a bit. But hey, it's the same game as he said, she said. And for legal reasons, I'm pretty sure that's why the movie had that up there so they wouldn't get sued. But then you think, so how much of this is real and what parts are made up? That is the question that lingers in your mind as you're watching this film. All we know is that Rim aimed for the moon and overshot it and then came crashing down and that was due to Steve Jobs and the iPhone. But the story did have me invested in characters and how they went from point A to point B and then the ultimate crash. And now on to my cons. So now every year or so we see movies based on how this or that happened and the film shows us behind the scenes events such as how the iPhone became or the Nike Jordans became or even Microsoft and so on. And we go to see them as if it's the ultimate truth and then we go home feeling like we're experts on the subject. And just later to basically be shot down that we are not that all knowing by other people especially the internet. But really, some people do take these films like they are all the truth and that nothing in the movie can be fake or misleading. And those are the type of people that we hear talk about it and then just say, it was in the movie, so it must be true. Which to that, I had to point out, sometimes it might be, but then other times it might not. Since we do see in some films and even posters, it states based on true events, which is code to maybe we made some of this shit up. So as much as I appreciate the film for trying to make sure that people know that this is not all true, I need them not just to write it on the posters or at the beginning of the film have a voiceover saying some things in the film might not be fully accurate. So I can stop hearing these people who believe themselves as experts just because they see a film and say, yeah, it was in the film. Moving on to my next con. Yeah, I wanted to see more of Mike and Doug's falling out and maybe Jim planning to break them up or something to fill in the gap. Since we didn't see Doug quit his job, we just saw him not show up and not be in the film anymore. So I wanted some closure to that part of that chapter and the story. Also, I needed more of how Jim was making the side deals with the NHL behind Mike's back and as to why he wanted it so badly. Also, I wanted to see more of Mike and Doug coming up with the new features of every new Blackberry version that came and slowly see how the phone evolved from the first one to the latest one. So my final grade for this movie is going to be a 7 out of 10. Great summary of the rise and fall of Blackberry. Yeah, it might not have some accurate information, but overall, it's a bit of a cliff notes movie. Also great casting and shout out to Pro CD. Nice to see him in a film and not just hear his voice in games and anime. Also great job to Matt Johnson as the director and also for playing Doug. But overall the story was decent. So that does it for this review of Blackberry. Please join us next time where we're going to review The Machine. Steph, why are you talking all fast like you're on speed or something? Because I'm on speed. Oh. Oh. More drugs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.